Welcome back, race fans, to the Radiator Springs 450. I'm Bob Cutlass, here with my broadcasting partner, Mario Andretti. It is a beautiful spring day, and we are moments away from getting ready for today's race. These racers are ready and raring to get this race started. Let's get straight to lining up these racers for today's race. In row one, we have Brake Yardley and Murray Clutchburn. In row two, we have Lightning McQueen and Krusty Rotor. In row three, we have Aiken Axler and Chick Hicks. In row four, we have Todd Marcus and Dave Alternators. In row five, we have Dale Earnhardt Jr. and Darren Ledfoot. In row six, we have Cal Weathers and Ralph Carlo. And in the last row, we have Bobby Swift. It looks like all the cars are lined up for today's race and Brick Yardley has the pole position. Brick Yardley has the pole position this week because of his win last week. Can he win again and win today's Piston Cup? Who knows? Oh, but don't underestimate the back of the pack. Bobby Swift had a rough start last week, so he's starting at the back of the pack this week, but he can make an amazing comeback today. And right in front of him is Strip the King Weathers' nephew, Cal Weathers. Cal kind of hit the wall yesterday during qualifying laps, so he's going to be starting right in front of Bobby Swift. But you can't forget about Lightning McQueen. Fans are still rooting for him after, showing, after him showing his great sportsmanship at the Los Angeles International Speedway. But it might be a little bit of a trouble for him to win his race today because Chick Hicks is going to be racing today. Today is Chick Hicks' last race before he retires, and I know he wants to win that Piston Cup before he retires. So he's definitely giving poor McQueen a hard time out there. Pace cars out. Let's get straight to racing, people. It looks like Murray Clutchburn is already right behind Brick Yardley, and he makes the pass on the straightaway. Just look at Bobby out there. His progress is amazing. From last to sixth, that is what I call progress right there, folks. As we head into the second lap, Bobby tries to get up on Chick Hicks. And Bobby gets sideswept right into Lightning McQueen's pit crew. What a bummer. Let's check the instant replay to see what happens. Looks to be here that Bobby got into Chick, and Chick just completely sideswiped him. And he nearly crashed into Fillmore there. For a guy who drinks only organic fuel, he's pretty quick. Bobby quickly recovers and gets back to racing. Looks like steady progress is being made, but we'll be right back after this commercial break. You know, life is great. Life's amazing. But you know it's not great? Yeah. It's having a rusty roof, and that's what you don't want. Buy vinyl toupee. If you've got a rusty roof, cover it up with our vinyl toupee. And right now, it's on sale all around the world. Our prices drop for your top. Buy vinyl toupee. Vinyl toupee is not responsible for any allergic reactions. Welcome back, race fans, to the Radiator Springs 450. Murray Clutchburn is currently in first place, leading the pack. He comes around. Oh, he gets loose, and Lightning McQueen passes him. Dick Hicks makes another clean pass. Bumper to bumper. Chick spins Lightning McQueen. McQueen is into the wall. Ha! Let's see him recover from that. McQueen recovers, and he is speeding past everybody. But that doesn't mean Chick's gonna make it easy on him. He's catching up, and Chick spins out Murray Clutchburn. The caution is out. Everyone's heading to the pits, but I don't think Chick Hicks wants to get to the pits. He just wants to finish this race in first place. Seems that Murray ran into two Piston Cup security guards. But on the bright side, he's not severely injured, so he'll be able to continue the race. And the cars are lined back up to continue today's race. Here goes the pace car, it's about to get messy. Chick Hicks is being really rough on McQueen, he spins him. And there's a huge crash involving almost a whole pack. What a big wreck, everybody's up and over each other. And at the end, Chick even spun McQueen. McQueen's over here and he's got some damage as well, but not too bad. While they're doing that, let's cut to another commercial. Yes, yes, yes! Lightning McQueen here, and I use Rusty's medicated bump ointment, the new rear end formula. Nothing sues a rusty bumper like Rusty's. Wow, look at that shine. Use Rusty's, and you too can look like me. Cut chow! So, Mayor, now that you're a big star, you're gonna need an agent. Yeah, McQueen, you get me in all them big parties and find me a shack in the hills. And... Hey, I can't see! Actually, you need a different kind of agent, maybe a good neighbor. Call a State Farm agent and get the good neighbor service you can count on anytime, anywhere. I feel better already. Welcome back, race fans. Lightning McQueen and Chick Hicks have separated themselves from the pack and are going one-on-one. -on -one. Now, this is what I call exciting. We're heading into the final lap of work.
Oh, and there's some trouble with Jake. He's spinning. Oh, and he hits the wall. And the whole pack smashes right into him. This could only mean one thing, and that means Lightning McQueen has won the Radiator Springs 450. I gotta say, it was a well-deserved win. Alright, everyone say... Everybody say hoo!